Hi. Now in this next part, part C of the question, we're told that the ball hits the ground t seconds after projection, and we've got to find the value of t. So essentially, the ball hits the ground here when our time t equals big T. You'll notice also I've written down the answer that we established in part B, whether we need to use it or not in this part. U equals 9.666 and so on meters per second. OK, so if you would like to give this question a go and you haven't done so already, do pause the video, come back and you can check your work solution with mine. OK, well, let's see how you got on if you had a go. Well, to find t, what we've got to do is consider the vertical motion here. And we'll just put a subtitle in here, first of all, consider the vertical motion. We need to have a positive sense. So it's up to you which way you go, but normally it's always to take the direction, the initial projection direction is positive, and that is upwards, okay, as positive. So we've got acceleration, a constant acceleration involved in this vertical sense, so we need to think of a SUVAT based equation. So we've got S, the displacement. Now, if we're going from O up and then back down to here, the displacement is going to be minus 6 units, minus 6 meters. Then we've got u, the initial velocity. Well, we worked that out in the previous part as 8.8 .8 meters per second. And that's in the positive sense as well. The final velocity, v, it's not zero when it hits the ground. We're looking at the instant just before it hits the ground. We don't know what it will be, so we're not interested in that. As for the acceleration, A, it's going to be G, but it acts in the opposite sense to the positive sense here. So it's going to be minus 9.8. And then we've got the time T, which is big T. So what equation would we use for something like this? Well, it's got to be S equals UT plus a half AT squared. And if we use that one, we've therefore got for s minus 6 equals u, which is 8.8, .8, multiplied by t, which is the big T. And then you've got plus a half, multiplied by the acceleration, which is minus 9.8, .8, multiplied by big T squared. Again, I'm going to point out it's the acceleration that seems to always cause the problems in these projectile questions. It's minus 9.8 because it's coming downwards. It will not matter when it's on the way down. The mathematics will take care of this, okay? So you're just looking at upwards as being positive. This acts downwards, so A is minus 9.8. Okay, so we can clean this up. 2 will go into the minus 9.8, minus 4.9 times. So what we've got is essentially a quadratic equation in t. So I'm going to start with a positive t squared term. So I'm going to add 4.9 t squared to both sides and subtract 8.8 .8 t from both sides. So if we do that, we therefore have 4.9 t squared minus 8.8 .8 t minus 6 equals 0. And I'm going to use the quadratic formula for something like this. I'm not going to even bother to think that if it factorizes or not. So the quadratic formula, this is going to be my a, b is going to be minus 8.8, .8, and c is going to be minus 6. So using the quadratic formula, we've got that t equals minus b, so that's going to be 8.8, .8 plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. b value is minus 8.8, .8, so we square that. Don't forget to put that in brackets, by the way, if you're using a calculator. And then minus 4 times a, a being 4.9, times c, c being the minus 6. And all of this is divided by 2a. 
So that's 2 times 4.9. Now, you've got two answers here. We're not going to take the negative one because that's going to give us a negative value of t. And t's got to be greater than 0, a positive value. So if we take the positive value in this formula, what you do end up with is therefore t equals 2.323 and so on. And if we round this to, say, two significant figures, t is equal to 2.3 seconds to 2sf, two, two significant figures then.